Just the other day, I heard a testimony that was wonderful and yet very disturbing all at the same time. But there was a valuable principle that I was able to pull from that testimony and share with my daughter. So in today's episode, I'm going to share with you the testimony as well as the important principle that we can take from it. So stay tuned. This past weekend, my daughter and I were watching 3ABN, a Christian broadcasting network whose mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout all the world. And on this particular program, they were telling the story of a woman who had escaped from North Korea and had been in hiding for years. She had found her way to a Christian church and told the pastor that she desperately wanted to be baptized. Now, apparently she had learned about God by listening to a Christian radio station while she had been in hiding. Now, because of her circumstances and the culture of where she was, this baptism had to be done in secret. And after the woman was baptized, it was her goal to cross the border and get into South Korea, where she intended to go to a Christian's college that was located there. She knew the journey was going to be a dangerous one, but she found comfort in knowing that she had achieved her ultimate goal of being baptized. Now, unfortunately, when the woman reached the border, she was captured and returned back to North Korea, where she was executed. Now, while this story may seem sad, it's really not that sad because this woman, along her very difficult journey, found Jesus. And that, my friends, is awesome. Now, in a couple of weeks, my daughter's getting baptized. She's made the decision to give her life to Christ, which I am so, so happy about. But after we watched this lady's story, I had to take a few moments and explain to Savannah a valuable principle that we must always remember. I said to her, do you understand what that woman had to go through? What she had to go through to learn about Jesus and to get baptized? She had to do it through a time of trouble. And right now we are not experiencing a time of trouble. You're able to learn about Jesus without hiding or being scared for your life. You're able to get baptized and have all your friends and family come to celebrate with you because we aren't experiencing a time of trouble like the lady was. So we can never take the opportunities that we have in peaceful times for granted. And actually, I'm saying the same thing to you. Don't take for granted the peaceful times. And the peaceful times are those times when you have the opportunity to accomplish your goals or take advantage of the things God has placed in your path to achieve without the forces of opposition working heavily against you. If you are a student, don't take for granted the opportunity you've been given. Study hard and excel during the peaceful times because history has shown us that not every person who desired an education was able to receive one without the forces of opposition working heavily against them. Are you able to attend church every week? Don't take it for granted because there is someone out there who would risk their life to sit in the pew that you may place little value upon. Do you have access to a Bible? Read it, study it, and learn it. Because history has also shown us and continues to show us that there are people who have and are currently facing the severe forces of opposition that are working to keep the word of God out of their hands. Yet many have and will continue to risk it all just to get their hands on a Bible just like the ones that sit in many of our homes, just collecting dust. The point I'm trying to make today is that you must take advantage of every opportunity the Lord places in your path. Take nothing for granted, because life is funny. One day you can be experiencing total peace, and the next you could find yourself in a time of trouble. So take advantage of the peaceful times God has blessed you with. Let me say a quick prayer for you right now. Dear Father, please be with us all. Help us never to take for granted the times of peace that you have given us, God. Help us to take advantage of your word and every opportunity you place before our path. We love you, Father. Amen. Well, that's all I have for you this week. I hope it blessed you. And of course, as always, remember that you are extra, uh-oh, extraordinary through Christ. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. And for those of you who are interested in some faith gear, my husband and I have started a new line of Christian faith-inspired clothing. So if you want to get a t-shirt like this or some other ones, check the link below and you can check out our shop. 
God bless and see you next week. 